Roll over. Yes, good girl. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to teach your dog to roll over. I'm also going to talk about a few common challenges that people face while teaching this trick. My name is Kale McCann. This is Beeline. Welcome back to McCann Dogs. So we are gonna get started with this. Now I have Beeline's dinner with us, which she is really excited about getting, but I'm gonna work a little bit on the roll over with a little bit of use of her dinner. So I'm gonna grab a couple cookies here, and I am going to start off simply by making sure she can go into the down position. So she's moving at mock speed here, so we'll try to do a little bit small, uh, slower. So I start with my hand on her nose. I have treats in my fingers here. I'm gonna lure from her nose down to her toes to get her in the lying position. So that's the easy part. This next part's a little harder. What I wanna do is get her lying so that she's laying on her side. So what I'm gonna do is lure her nose towards her shoulder blades and hopefully encourage her to flip onto her side. And as soon as she does that, I'm gonna say yes to mark her correct behavior and then I'm going to reward her. Yes, good girl. So not all the way quite over as much as I'd like her to be, but we'll, yes, chip, yes. We'll chip away at it here. Yes, good girl, yes. Okay, good girl, let's try that again. So I'm turning her nose towards, yes. You are very flexible. Turning her nose towards her shoulder blades. Yeah, so I'm getting a little bit far away from what I'm looking for. So I'm just gonna start again. I'm not giving her the reward. She's hungry, so she's frantic about the food right now. Down, yes, good girl. So I'm gonna flip her over. Yes, there, good girl. So because this dog is so excited right now, what I'm learning very quickly is my movements of my hand only need to be very subtle, very small movements at a time. Because she's so excited to get the food, if I'm moving my hands all around, she's just sort of flailing her body in any which way. So as I'm practicing this, I don't need to go for the entire um, behavior right from the beginning. In fact, a lot of dogs are going to struggle with this. So the best way to approach this is by going in little increments. So trying to get first her laying on her side. Once I'm successful getting that reliably, then I'm gonna see if I can get her to flip a little bit further over and then maybe to the entire roll from there. So I'm gonna keep working on simply getting her to go onto her side a little bit more because uh, it's not quite reliable um, at this time. So another thing that it's important to talk about is really learning which direction your dog is going to be more comfortable rolling because your dog actually will be more coordinated and comfortable um, turning one way to the other. So one of the ways that you can figure that out is lure your dog into a down position and <laughs> see which way your dog naturally rolls onto the hip. My dog is being a little bit nutso right now. Just lie down for a sec. So when I go to put the food on her nose, she's sort of laying in what we call a sphinx position. So if I turn her nose to the right, she's slipping onto her side really easily. Now let me see what happens if I turn her nose to the left. Okay. So I'm getting her on her side, so I might even be able to get a dog that rolls both directions. Yes. So this might not happen with your dog though. When you try to the left or you try to the right, one of those directions, your dog is going to more easily flip onto that hip. And whatever hip they're laying on, that's the direction you're gonna go. Now the rollover trick is a pretty common trick for our dogs, but for whatever reason, I actually haven't taught this to Beeline quite yet. Now it's pretty funny, I think she's starting to really understand it, but we specifically chose her for the demonstration today because she's not that familiar with it. So I'm hoping she's gonna make some pretty normal common mistakes but let's see how she does as I try to progress a bit further. So I'm gonna lure her onto her side. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Now I will admit, I actually have worked a little bit on this particular behavior. Um, I will teach her an on your side trick and I'll use that so I can examine her, clip her toenails, that type of thing. It's been really handy for the vet. So this part we have worked on before, we just haven't worked on progressing any further. Now if I try to flip her towards me, how she's positioned right now, she's just gonna hit me. So I'm gonna just try to change my position a little bit so she has room to roll. Yes, okay, so she's moving onto her side really easily. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the food and I'm gonna turn her head. So hopefully, yes, good girl. She just follows her body, follows her head over and flips all the way. That was good girl, should we try it again? Oops, so I'm gonna just pull her, t push her bum away from me there so she's in better position. Good girl, okay, so we're gonna turn the head towards the, um, the uh, what is this called? The shoulder, <laughs> and then, yes, 
flip. Yes, good girl, flipper the rest of the way. I think you're gonna get this, Missy. So head to the shoulder, yes, and turn the head all the way over, yes. Okay, so she's following this really easily, so now I'm gonna go ahead and try to make this one solid motion and see if she can figure it out. Now I will say, you may notice that I'm not using any commands at this point, I'm not saying roll over. The only thing I'm really saying is the word yes, because when we're teaching the dog something new, we first want to get the behavior understood physically by the dog before we start giving commands, because I don't wanna say the word roll over and then have her do a bunch of different behaviors. So until I get her going really reliably, I'm gonna save the step of adding the command to a little bit later. All right, so I have a handful of treats. We're gonna try this again. So I'm gonna get her down. Yes, good girl. So we'll try it again. Yes, good girl. So she's going really easily now. Yes. Yes. So I think I probably can go ahead and add the word. Now before I go on any further, I wanna talk about some of the problems that may occur when you're practicing with your dog. Now, having a dog lie on their back or flip over on their back is not very comfortable for all dogs. So you may wanna first consider the surface that you're practicing on. So I'm practicing on matting with carpet on top, so it's pretty um, comfortable to move around. You may not wanna start this on your hardwood floor or your kitchen tile, for example, because it's not very comfortable to flip over. Um, so start on something that's very uh, soft and inviting. That's the first tip that I would suggest. And the second tip I have for you is be patient with your food. It's very common for us to move our hands incorrectly when we're first starting this. And typically wherever we move our hand, our dog just happens to go at the same time. So a common mistake that will happen, oh my gosh, you almost went there. Good girl. A common mistake that will happen is that people will often lure their dog's head too high and then the dog starts standing up and then people end up feeding like I just did. And if I do that too many times, I'm gonna start getting further away from my ultimate goal, starting to create a bit of a gray area for my dog because I'm feeding so many different things. So if your dog happens to spiral out of position, don't worry, simply withhold the food and try it again. And just try to reward smaller increments, trying to get the dog to reward, uh, try to reward them for smaller behaviors at a time. If they get out of position, you're just gonna stop that particular, uh, particular attempt and then simply start again. Roll over. Yay, that was a good one. Down, good girl. Roll over. Yes, good for you. Lie down. Roll over. Yay, good. So you see now I'm able to say the word and then show her, and because she started to get the hang of it, my movement of the food to her shoulder is becoming less and less and less each time. Ready, roll over. Yeah, good girl. Now remember, as you're continuing to get to the point where you want your dog to do this on just a verbal command without a hand signal, it's imperative that you are isolating the word, the command, roll over or whatever you're saying, apart from the hand signal. So you need to first say the command, and then one second later, maneuver your dog into position. If you're doing all of those steps at the same time, your dog will start to depend on the hand movement and they will not be able to do it just on the word alone. So that's extremely important as you're moving forward. Now, if your dog is struggling, so as B is right now, she's just gone so well through all the stages, we're hitting a little bit of a bump here. So what I'm gonna start to do is rather than take the signal away completely, I'm going to try to wean off of the signal so it's not so big. I'm just gonna move as, as, give her as much help as she needs and then try to take some of it away. So I've noticed that as I lure her nose towards her head, once I get her started, she tends to be able to do the rest on her own. So that's as much as the signal I'm going to give her. But again, keep in mind, watch my timing and uh, note that I'm saying the command first and then I'm using that physical action to help her. Roll over. Yes, good. So rather than continuing my hand all the way through the roll, I let her sort of finish the behavior a bit more on her own. <laughs> Hold on, lie down. Come closer, lie down, good. Roll over, almost. Lie down, roll over. Yes, good girl, okay. Lie down, roll over. Yes, good girl, okay. Lie down, roll over. Yes, good. That was a bit more on your own, lie down. Okay. Roll over, yes, okay, here, lie down, down. Roll over, yes, good girl. She's almost got this, okay, lie down. Roll over, yay, good, okay, lie down. Roll over, oh, so close, lie down. Come here, come here, lie down. Roll over, lie down. Roll over, yes. So she tried two different behaviors rather than, <clears throat> excuse me, the one that I was looking for. 
So I don't want to keep letting her get further and further away from the final goal. So if I see she's struggling, I need to get back in there with my hand signal. So obviously I have a little bit of homework to do, but hopefully you have an understanding of how to actually progress to getting to the point where your dog can do this just on the command without needing the hand signal. Now you may have noticed that as I was practicing, Beeline was offering some different tricks like spinning and backing up. Now if you'd like to teach those tricks to your dogs, click the playlist beside me. Now if this is your first time with us, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We post brand new videos videos every single week to help you to have a well-behaved four-legged family member. Now on that note, I'm Kale McCann. This is my Border Collie pup, Beeline. Bye for now. Happy training.